Hey everyone, welcome back to the table. And if we can crack open this case, I will tell you what today's video is about. And I'm very excited to talk to you about this today. I wanna to talk to you about tendons, tendon injuries, and I wanna to talk to you about ultrasound. And cut to the chase, about a year ago, almost exactly a year ago, I got myself a terrible Achilles tendon injury. And for 10 months of the past year, I've been trying all sorts of medically recognized methods of dealing with it. None of them have worked. In the last month, I've discovered something, including ultrasound, and it's not what you would expect. So I'll come on to that in a little while, which has made a transformational difference. And I wanna share that transformational difference with you today. Can I just say as ever, if you like what you're hearing and you think it's of use, please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. Both those two things really make a difference. So this is a kit, A if I take out the instruction book here, you can see quite clearly, this is a MedFit Pro Therapeutic Rechargeable Ultrasound Kit I'll be talking about. And this is a kit that comes in a one megahertz and a three megahertz version. And we'll talk about those in just a moment in time. But firstly, Achilles tendon injuries. Well, the Achilles, of course, is that bit at the back of your heel, which connects your calf muscle to your foot. And you can damage that at any age, at any time. And some of the factors which are consistent with damaging your Achilles are running much further than you normally run or running much faster than you normally run. There are a few different terms which you use, tendonitis, tendinosis, tendinopathy. Medically speaking, they're all slightly different, but for our purposes, we'll just call it an Achilles tendon injury and wrap all those terms into one. And I'm not talking about insertion point injuries here, which are slightly less common, i.e. injuries right at the base of the calf or injuries right at the foot insert, but I'm talking at midpoint injuries, those midpoints along the tendon itself where you damage yourself, either running, as I say, too fast without building up to it or running too far without building up to that either. And I hurt myself just briefly. My habit is, and it's not a very good habit that I would recommend, but when I injure myself, I normally just carry on running, just pull back a little bit on the hammer, not quite so hard, not quite so fast, and just carry on. And it normally works, but for my Achilles tendon, when I pulled it about a year ago, I hurt myself doing some sprints, trying to improve my 5K time, and I thought, well, I'll just go much, much faster than I've ever done before, and I hurt myself, and I carried on doing it, and I hurt myself even more, and the following Monday, I did a half marathon, and it really hurts, and the following Saturday, I did a 5K park run, and then I couldn't walk for a week, and the rest is history. And I've tried everything. If you look up the research, the archetypal recommended treatment for this is a series of what you call eccentric stretches. The currently recommended treatment comprises of a series of eccentric stretches to slowly build up the strength of the tendon. And what I found online and what I found when I went to see a physiotherapist, both a private physiotherapist and indeed NHS physiotherapist, was that I was recommended to do stretches in the morning and in the evening. And basically you do three sets of 15 with straight legs and three sets of 15 with bent legs or bent knees. So that's 90 stretches in the evening, 90 stretches in the morning. And you basically do eccentric stretches, which means that you use your good foot to lift yourself up and then you lower yourself down on your Achilles, your injured Achilles, and you stretch it that way. Now I tried that and after a while you get to weight it too and I did all those things for a long time. I ended up uh, with a lot of scar tissue and it was just sore and I couldn't run. I just couldn't run at all. I tried ultrasound midway through my process and I'd got this kit and let's just talk about this kit for a minute. Now the way this kit works is you get two little devices here. You get a three megahertz device and a one megahertz device and I can't recommend this kit enough in many ways. I'll put a link in the description Ultrasound, different waves. You're probably familiar with ultrasound when it comes to AB images and scans. There are various different wavelengths of ultrasound. If you look at what these things do when you drop a blob of water on, they just basically send sound pulses through the metal diodes there. And those energy waves go into the body part that you're using it on and basically they stimulate blood flow. It's all about stimulating blood flow. The blood will cure the body if you can just get it to flow to the region you want it to flow to. One of those problems with the Achilles, of course, is that there's very low what they call vascularity within the Achilles, which means there isn't much blood flow. So it's very hard to get the blood to come and sort it out. This comes in a one megahertz, as I say, in a three megahertz model. The difference between the two is that the three megahertz doesn't penetrate very deep into the skin. So up to about to two and a bit centimeters, whereas the one megahertz probe will go deeper. So if you've got a, a deeper muscular injury that you want to heat up or encourage blood flow, the one megahertz is what you would use. Whereas if it's more of a surface thing, like the Achilles, dare I say, the three megahertz is the one that I found a great deal of benefit with. Now, the recommended dosage for these, if you look at the way you work these, you turn it on, on-off button like that, and then you increase the strength from 
setting one to three, and then you, you've got a 10 minute timer there, and you can pause the 10 minute timer, carry on, and when the 10 minute timer finishes, it blips and then it goes off. And I tried for a long time, the one megahertz and the three megahertz to no effect. And just to, to show you, of course, you use a bottle of gel, ultrasound gel, and it's just really just a, a, a clear gel, there's nothing much to it, and the clear gel just gets blobbed on there like so picture of me rubbing it on my Achilles there and you take it from there. The probes themselves are very light, very easy to use. They come with a recharger here, just one recharger. You can recharge them separately if you want to. Just plugs into a normal, I'm in the UK, three pin plug. Doesn't take long to charge at all. I've never timed it actually, a very short period of time. And they seem to last for five or six goes between charges if you like. So it's quite a considerable option for you there. Excellent piece of kit. Now I tried it, as I say, for a number of months, the one megahertz and the three megahertz with absolutely no result whatsoever. And then I was about to sell it and I thought, well, I'll give this another go. And what I found, and here's the short and the long of it, and I do not recommend you do this, okay? I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physio, well, I'm, I'm I'm not a medical doctor and I'm not a physiotherapist, so don't try this at home. I'm a little bit potty and sometimes I try things that aren't recommended and this happened to work. Instead of the 10 minutes maximum, which you're supposed to have, I did it for 40 minutes and that 40 minutes seems to have started to really do the trick. And I found that my scar tissue has reduced radically. I've also found that the pain has reduced incredibly and I've gone from uh, maybe two months ago, I was pain level of seven or eight out of 10 to now I'm a pain level of maybe two out of ten it's almost completely better i did my first 10k three days ago not far off my usual speed and i felt really good after it and i'm looking forward to my next one i'm going to build up relatively slowly but this has been transformational it's been absolutely amazing i cannot recommend these enough in terms of dealing with your tendonitis now in fairness from a sensible research methodology i've got to say that i don't know if it was the ultrasound which has really made a difference or if it was simply rubbing my Achilles tendon for 40 minutes with a hard metal surface. I mean, I know I felt even though at the end of the 40 minutes this was cold and my foot was cold, I could feel my tendon was very warm. So I don't know if it was the heat generated and the blood flow generated as a result of using this or if in fact it was purely a question of rubbing your tendon with a metal plate, which made the difference. And the only way, of course, I could tell that is if I had a controlled trial and well, I've only got one bad tendon and thankfully it's better now. So there we are. I hope that helps for you. There's a little bit of information there about tendonitis, about how it comes along, about how you treat it in terms of those eccentric stretches. And then if you can get your hands on a set of these, a transformational difference. As I say, I used the three megahertz one, not the one megahertz one, and I used it for between 35 and 40 minutes every night for about two weeks, and it made a transformational difference. Not saying you do it yourself at home, let me emphasize, it may well be that it's not good for you, I don't know. All I can say, for me personally, it's made a difference, but please consult your medical advisor before you do it yourself. Can I just say as ever, if you like what you're hearing and you think it's of use, please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe both those two things really make a difference. Please also drop me any comments yourself if you found any good ways of dealing with your own tendonitis, tendinosis, tendon conditions. Let me know if you've tried ultrasound. Let me know what you think. Anything to do with how to take care of your Achilles tendon. I don't want that to happen again. Incidentally, another thing I've done is to get myself a pair of these uh, New Balance trainers with quite a high sole and quite a lot of uh, cushioning. I am overpronated as a runner, so you can see I've got some overpronation supporting shoes there and running in these has been an absolute dream they're actually a, a 4e width fitting which is wonderful for for comfort and i'll be using those for a good few months before I get back onto my Nike Free RN Motion, which are more of a minimalist type of running shoe aimed at those who like to do an awful lot of toe running as opposed to heel impact type running. And my advice to you really would be if you're getting back into running after a Achilles tendon problem to get a bit of heel there to give yourself that bit of support and comfort before you move back onto toe based running or any type of minimalist work. So there we are then that's a video I've been wanting to do for a while about the Medfit Pro Therapeutic Ultrasound kit one megahertz three megahertz it's made a tremendous difference to me it's really helped with my achilles tendon problems until next time thanks for looking